the ones that grow like that one, stalagmites. And so, again, they call them stalagmites because they may catch up with a stalactite. And then they call them columns, which is what that is there. So that's where a stalactite and a stalagmite have joined and formed this beautiful column. I can see where they've joined. Yeah. That line you, you probably can. And that would have been probably over a long, long time. I'll actually explain that more as we go through. But if you have a look here, you can see these ones are quite young. They're only baby ones, the columns that are forming here. So you've got stalactites and stalagmites. Mm -hmm. Quite fine. They'd only be a probably maybe two or 3,000 years old. That's all. They're just babies. People have got wild imaginations, I can tell you. And what does that one over there look like to you? Hmm? Well, you could say Star Wars and it would be Yabba the Hutt, or it's a Sphinx. Doesn't it look like a Sphinx? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yes. Oh. Oh. So many. <laughs> now, you all have noticed this beautiful formation here. This is called our suspended table. And it's actually on two very large columns, that one being about 2.4 uh, tons in weight, so equivalent to about four good-sized cars. But did you notice, if you look into the water, it's actually above the water. So it's literally suspended above the water. And the way that's happened is over time, this water has a little bit of an acidic uh, level to it. It's a pH of about 5 but it's enough that it's eaten away at the bottom of the floor of the cave. And at one time, as I mentioned to you before, this was actually water, probably up to, you can see where the water levels have been even on that column there, see where it's this solid. And that's dissipated, but the strength of those columns has held on to that little piece of floor there. There's only one other suspended table in the whole of the world and it's in a cave in France and it's not open to the public so you'll never ever see another one of those again. They're very, very rare. And also if you have a look at my Sphinx or Yabba the Hutt over there, he's also the stalactites that at one time would have been broken off and they're starting to regrow again. Again, you can see quite a good example of how the broken pieces are through this area because that was part of the natural walkway. So there'll be a lot of souvenirs in grandma's bottom drawer somewhere in the world, I would imagine, because people at that stage used to break them off. We've also got our national anthem, or our emblem there. We've got our kangaroo and emu. Can you see him on the, the, on the top of the rock there? Can you see them? Does anybody know why we have a kangaroo and emu on our emblem? Uh can't go backwards. That's exactly right. And us Aussies are always going forward. Although after the cricket, I sometimes yeah. <laughs> And next to them, we've got Madge and Homer Simpson sitting there having a cup of tea. By the afternoon, they'll be having a glass of wine. Yeah. We've also got what's known as shawls. If you turn around, you'll have a look on the roof of the cave. Now they're very, very thin sheets of calcite. They are so thin that you can actually, if I had a light behind them, you'd see how iridescent they actually are. And they're formed where water comes down on an angle. You know when you're in the shower, water runs down your arm on your elbow, drips that way. If you had your arm like that, it would be going across. Well, that's how they're formed. Somebody said to me,